A carcinoma may simply be defined as a malignant epithelial neoplasm. This is an example of a carcinoma and you can see it's infiltrating the fat. Three common types of carcinoma are adenocarcinomas, these show glandular differentiation, squamous cell carcinomas show squamous differentiation and basal cell carcinomas show basal cell differentiation. This tumour is forming recognisable squamous cells and this is therefore a squamous cell carcinoma. And here we can see an example of a basal cell carcinoma. This is an example of a malignant tumour arising from the glands in a prostate and this is a prostatic adenocarcinoma. Carcinomas may also be subdivided according to the organ of origin. So a bronchogenic carcinoma arises in the lung, renal cell carcinomas arise in the kidney and hepatocellular carcinomas arise in the liver. This is a kidney containing a tumour arising from the renal parenchyma and this is a renal cell carcinoma. Carcinomas may be named according to the structures the malignant tumour cells form. So if they form tubules, this may be a tubular carcinoma. If they form papillae or finger-like projections, this may be a papillary carcinoma. And a squamous cell carcinoma resembling a verruca may be a verrucous carcinoma. Carcinomas may also be named according to the tumour product, so a carcinoma producing lots of mucin may be a mucinous carcinoma. And finally, carcinomas may be named according to the appearance of the individual cells. A clear cell carcinoma has, of course, clear cells. In signet ring carcinomas, the nucleus is pushed to one side by a blob of mucin, producing a characteristic signet ring type appearance. This is a well differentiated adenocarcinoma arising in the breast. This is a tubular carcinoma. It shows ER positivity and that is demonstrated by the brown staining of the nuclei. ER stands for oestrogen receptor, although in English oestrogen is spelt with an O, not an E. This is a type of renal cell carcinoma that forms papillae and this is known as a type 1 papillary renal cell carcinoma. This tumour produces copious amounts of mucin and this is a mucinous carcinoma. This is a type of carcinoma frequently seen in the lung and this is a small cell carcinoma characterised by small dark nuclei with scanty amounts of cytoplasm. Finally, this carcinoma resembles a verruca, and this is, of course, a verrucous carcinoma.